take care not to hurt the ruling faculty of your mind. If you were to guard against this in every action, you should enter upon those actions more safely. Nature hath given men one tongue, but two ears that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. People are not disturbed by things, but by the views they take of them. Everything has two handles the one by which it may be carried, the other by which it cannot. A city is not adorned by external things, but by the virtue of those who dwell in it. If you ever happen to turn your attention to externals for the pleasure of anyone, be assured that you have ruined your scheme of life. He who exercises wisdom exercises the knowledge which is about God. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Things in our control our opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and in a word, whatever are our own actions. If you are in pain, you will find fortitude. If you hear unpleasant language, you will find patience. Disease is an impediment to the body, but not to the will, unless the will itself chooses. Let whatever appears to be the best be to you an inviolable law. Those proficient praise no one, blame no one, and accuse no one. Events happen as they do. People behave as they are. Embrace what you actually get. Never call yourself a philosopher, nor talk a great deal 
among the unlearned about theorems, but act conformably to them. If you would be a reader, read. If a writer, write. Things not in our control are body, property, reputation, command, and in one word, whatever are not our own actions. When, therefore, anyone provokes you, be assured that it is your own opinion which provokes you. Lameness is an impediment to the leg, but not to the will. <laughs>